my name is Jan Marlies. I'm the gallery director at uh, San Joaquin Delta College Horton Art Gallery. Well, originally um, when I was going to college, I was a psych major and I took a class in art therapy and that really opened my eyes into the power of the arts. So I kind of switched from psychology to um, art therapy, which I worked with abused children and I worked with schizophrenic adults. And I realized that um, I wasn't the type of person that would be really good to be a therapist because I was had a really hard time detaching. And so I um, was kind of in a quandary of what to do because I really wasn't sure that I wanted to be a therapist. And I was waitressing at the time as well as going to school. And there was a group of artist studios on top of the restaurant where I worked. And I started hanging out with these people and there were a bunch of creative types. and. And it was just amazing, like what they were doing in public art and for the community. And I started volunteering for them. My first launching start was uh, internship uh, with the Minneapolis Arts Commission for two years. I opened up the uh, uh, Children's Center for Arts and Technology, at, uh, formerly called ZEAM, which is on top of the Sconey Center in San Francisco. Then um, I was chasing a house, affordable housing, and came out here and. Um, ended up uh, getting a job here at Delta College and been here since 2007. The art therapist that I worked with, uh, Katya, in Minneapolis, and uh, she inspired me, um, you know, in the healing powers of the arts. We had a show called Healing Through the Arts, and that was probably my favorite because it combined both my passion for art therapy and for visual arts and community and gallery work. Like our Visions in Clay show is ceramic based. And that's actually a national show. Um, we, we've kind of got a reputation for that show. Last uh, fall in October, we had the, um, the uh, Art Beyond the Border, and that was uh, based on um, in the, uh, the whole idea of immigration and, and the struggle of that and kind of what's going on in our society right now. We had this, um, 12 of our art majors um, be part of the show, and they, they made masks and they were uh, masks of resilience. If you're looking to get into the arts, the main thing is to follow your passion and not be afraid of that. And I think that more and more people are saying, we need the arts along with everything else. You might become one of those people that makes it in the arts, selling your own work, but there's a lot of different things you can do in, in terms of arts management, in terms of design, um, in terms of you know creativity in different fields. In, in bringing about um, uh, social change, a lot of art activism going on out there. And I think the work field is really opening up to, to that idea of um, hiring artists to be part of their creative teams.